Hi guys, this is my first video on my channel. In this video, I want to explain to you about 2 cylinder to 24 cylinder engines and how to use them. Stay with me until the end of the video. A V-shaped engine has a typical configuration that consists of two banks of cylinders, usually with the same number of cylinders in both blocks, connected to a common crankshaft. This engine structure places the cylinders at an angle to each other. The angle between the cylinders varies from 60 to 90 degrees. This angle between the cylinders is seen from the front as a V-shape. The types of V-engines that have been produced are V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V8. V10, V12, V16, V18, V20, V24, and among these engines V6, V8 and V12 are the most common designs for car engines. The engines V16, V20 and V24 are quite uncommon in automotive use, and are limited to large trucks and locomotives with some exceptions. An inline engine has a much simpler design than a V engine, with a single bank containing all cylinders in a row. Inline layouts are heavier and longer and require more space in terms of length. The designed structure of the V-shaped engine significantly reduces the height, length and weight of the engine compared to an inline engine with the same number of cylinders. For example, the photo on the left shows an inline six-cylinder engine, and the photo on the right shows a V-shaped six-cylinder engine. V-shaped engines with the same number of cylinders are about half the size, allowing the hood to be shorter, although it increases the width of the engine slightly, but not the width of the car body. Another advantage of the V-shaped engine is that V-engines can be made larger and therefore more powerful than linear engines. Now let's find out how all these engines work. Engine V2. V2 engine has a two-cylinder piston engine arranged in a V-shape where the cylinders share a common crankshaft. Widely used in motorcycles installed transversely or longitudinally. These terms are often used to refer to the orientation of the crankshaft relative to the frame. Transverse motor is the most common arrangement and longitudinal arrangement is less common. The most common angle versus for the V2 engine is 90 degree angle, which can achieve complete initial balance, otherwise there are usually three to reduce vibration reduction. One of the first V-twin engines was developed by Gottlieb Daimler in 1889. And it was used in the red wagon of a steel wheel car. Twin engines are also used for industrial engines and in several small cars and the 2018 Morgan V-twin engine. V3 engine. V3 engine consists of two cylinders in one bank and one cylinder in the other. This is a rare configuration, mostly used in two-stroke engines for motorcycles that compete in Grand Prix motorcycle racing. For example was 1955 DKW 350. Honda MVX 250F and Honda NS 400R are sports motorcycles used V3 engines. V4 engine. The V4 engine is a four-cylinder piston engine consisting of two cylinders per bank, where the cylinders share a common crankshaft. The crankshaft is usually supported by three main bearings. The V4 engine is shorter compared to the inline four-cylinder engine. If the two pistons share a 90-degree angle with the crankshaft pins, different V angles can be used, giving the engine the added benefit of perfect primary balance which reduces vibration. Disadvantages of V4 engines include the inherently wider design compared to inline-4 engines, which have two separate banks of components, which increases the cost and complexity of the V4 engine. Four-cylinder engines tend to use less fuel and are a great buy if you're looking for a small, reliable car. These engines are usually found in smaller compact cars that are easier to maneuver and park. The problem is that a V4 like any V engine is very complex. A V4 requires two cylinder heads, two exhaust manifolds, two valve trains and twice as many camshafts as an inline-4 engine. This means that developing a V4 is expensive. And it's expensive to make. So that's why V4s never stuck in cars. V5 engine. The V5 engine is a five-cylinder piston engine and the design of this engine is very unusual. In the 1980s, Oldsmobile developed a prototype V5 diesel engine, but it never made it to production and the project was abandoned. The only V5 engine that was produced was the VR5 engine produced by Volkswagen. It was a narrow-angle VR5 engine with staggered cylinders, three cylinders on one side and two cylinders on the other, with a single-cylinder head. 
The Volkswagen VR5 engine was a truly unique piece of automotive history and what immediately comes to mind is the fact that this engine is rough and strange. Since one side of the engine has more mass than the other, it vibrates strangely. We saw VR5 in the early 2000s that found its way to MK4 Golf, Jetta V5, B5 General Passat, and after they were finally replaced with turbo four-cylinder engines. Engines providers the same strength, but were lighter. The V5 is used in the Honda RC211V, a MotoGP racing motorcycle that uses a V5 engine. V6 engine. The V6 engine consists of three cylinders per bank. In most engines, these two banks are at an angle of 90 degrees or less to each other. It is the second most common engine design in modern cars after the inline four. This engine can be fed with different types of fuel, including petrol, diesel and natural gas. A very compact V6 engine that runs well and is a popular transmission engine for front-wheel drive vehicles. This engine has largely replaced the inline 6, which is too long to fit in many modern cars. But the V6 is more complex and not as smooth as the inline 6. The V6 engine is more compact and tight, but prone to vibration. This engine is also becoming a high-performance engine with high power and torque and also offers good fuel economy, according to the odd number of cylinders in each bank. V6 designs are unbalanced from whatever V angle they use. Volkswagen introduced the first V6 engine in 1991. The V6 engine was entered by Lancia and had good results. Then Ferrari built the Dyno V6 and it was used in the Ferrari 246 Formula 1 car. V8 engine. The V8 engine is an 8-cylinder piston engine where two banks of four cylinders share a crankshaft. The first V8 engine was produced by the French company in 1904. While the American Cadillac L-head engine is considered the first V8 engine produced, the popularity of V8 engines and cars increased greatly after the introduction of the Ford Flathead in 1932. V8 engines designed for racing cars are common in Australian motor racing, particularly in V8 supercars. Formula One began the 2006 season using V8 engines, which were later replaced by V10s to cut costs and reduce power. The V8 engine is also used in large trucks, industrial equipment and in aircraft engines. This engine usually offers better strength and acceleration, that's why the V8 engine is said to be suitable for most muscle cars. With the gentle pressure of the gas pedal, the driver can feel the abundant power of the engine. One of the many reasons to get into a car with a V8 engine is to experience a stylish and luxurious ride while enjoying faster acceleration and better performance. Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Aston Martin Vantage, Ford Mustang GT, BMW M5 and Ferrari SF90 Stradale are luxury cars that use V8 engine. V10 Engine The V10 engine is a 10-cylinder piston engine and is much less common than the V8 and V12 engines. The V10 engine configuration is not perfectly balanced, as an unbalanced swing pair results from each cylinder bank operating as a straight 5 engine. Therefore, Balance shafts are sometimes used to reduce vibration and balance the V10 engine. One of the first known V10 engines was used in 1936 Bosch Selzer, prototype locomotive, of which three were produced in the United States. Leopard 1 armored tank also uses V10 diesel engine. The Volkswagen V10 TDI is a turbocharged V10 engine used in the luxury sedans Volkswagen Phaeton and Volkswagen Touareg SUV, Lamborghini V10. Porsche V10 engine, BMW S85 and Audi V10 they use a V10 petrol engine. The Viper V10 Billion is a single motorcycle. This motorcycle has an 8-liter Dodge Viper V10 engine with a power of 500 horsepower. The most widespread use of V10 engines has been in Formula 1 racing. V12 engine. The V12 engine is a 12-cylinder piston engine, and is more common than the V10 engine and less common than the V8 engine. The first V12 engine was built in 1904 for use in racing boats. Attention to the balanced nature of the V12 engine and the smooth power delivery of the engines were found in early luxury cars, boats, airplanes and tanks. V12 engines were common in Formula 1 racing in the 1990s. V12 engine has twin bank with six cylinders in each bank. A V12 engine that essentially functions is a straight 6 engine that has perfect primary and secondary balance. Therefore, by using the correct V angle, a V12 engine can be perfectly balanced. The V12 engine can be perfectly balanced only if a 60 degree angle is used. The downside of the V12 engine is the added cost of complexity, and higher depreciation compared to engines with fewer cylinders. The length of the V12 engine is usually longer than the V6 and V8 engines. The added length often makes it difficult to install a V12 engine in a passenger car, 
but the length is usually not a problem for trucks and stationary applications. Because the V12 engine is narrower than those in the armored tank, locomotive and marine engines are used more. On twin propeller boats, two V12 engines can be narrow enough to fit side by side, Large fast cruise ships can have six or more V-12 engines. V-12 engines have often been used in Formula One, either in the 1964 Honda Raw 271 race car. Several truck manufacturers, for example, Tatra T-813 and Tatra T-815 available with V-12 diesel engine. V-16 engine. The V-16 engine is a 16-cylinder piston engine in which two banks of eight cylinders are arranged in a V-shape. V-16 engines are less common than engines with fewer cylinders, such as V-8 and V-12 engines. The first use of the V-16 engine was in experimental aircraft in the 1910s, followed by several cars in the 1930s. The most common applications for the V-16 engine are railroad locomotives, marine vessels, and stationary power generators. The first produced vehicle used by the V-16 engine was Cadillac V-16, introduced in January 1930. The 2003 Cadillac 16 concept car and the Rolls-Royce 100X concept was unveiled in with the V16 engine. The car that was in the Johnny English Reborn movie also uses the V16 engine. The first use of the V16 engine in racing cars was the Maserati Tipo V4, which was used in the Grand Prix and achieved a world speed record of 245.9 km per hour. V18 engine. The V18 engine is an 18-cylinder piston engine in which two banks of nine cylinders are arranged in a V-shape. The V18 engine is a rare configuration with large V18 diesel engines that limited, uses in trucking, power generation, rail transport and marine propulsion. There are no known cars that used V18 engines. The Belez 75600 and Liebherr T282B trucks are powered by V18 engine. V20 engine. The V20 engine is a 20-cylinder piston engine in which two banks of 10 cylinders are arranged in a V-shape. Large V20 diesel engines are used in diesel locomotives, haul trucks, electric generators, and marine applications. Beginning in the 1930s, Mercedes-Benz produced several large V20 diesel engines for use in marine applications. V24 engine. The V24 engine is a 24-cylinder piston engine in which two banks of 12 cylinders are arranged in a V-shape. Most V24 engines have been twin V12 engines, two separate V12 engines placed in line. The V24 engine is used for very large trucks and locomotives. A very large V24, AS6 engine was built by Fiat in 1930s as a power plant for the competition aeroplane Mackie MC-72. 424 power by a v24 to 71 detroit diesel engine with 3974 horsepower is drive from a 92 foot boat and can accelerate up to 210 kilometers per hour now you know all about v engines and thank you for watching this video so far if you want me to make other videos about the other shapes of motors let me know in the comments section